Ini ngapi? Wewe ndo mkoo wewe. Njo huku. Nataka unisome hapa. Ini ngapi hapa? 90. Ini ngapi hapa? Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my second lecture. Well, in this lecture, actually it's a database and we are going to cover the lecture 3 and 4. Yeah. So welcome and let's get started. Again, we're going to skip those. Those are but yeah. Going to start where here. Okay. Uh, select statement again. We're gonna continue with it. Select from where group by having order by manake this new formula. How this no format comba. I wish you could say ma una group by before where clause. I wish you could say ma una weka where clause then do weke from. This is the format comba lazima ziwe in this order comba. You select from where. Uh, from and in under what condition you group by what having order by tutaziona zote and meaning zake so don't worry iapa alliances ni kama ku rename alliances manake ni una rename column or table uh, why do we renaming just to make names more meaningful so babu let's say to store emd kwamba employee uh, employee ID lakini tuki display yo EMD kwa user pengine atapata shida kujua ah, what is employee ID what the hell it is I don't understand but we could rename it so that uh, user always kuona ya yeah, this is meaningful and I understand make names short appear and easier to type kwamba let's say during querying pale uh, Chota tukaitaji kuna niliu, kurinemu liksudi, kuyafanya majina yawe mafupi. Pengine tumestoma majina maref sana, and kuandika commands pale, kwa unaina, unakuwa bawa na nini. So you rename them so that uh, liksudi, even ni raisi kwako. Resolve ambiguous names. Yeah, this is, is optional, but Oracle doesn't accept it at all. Mm, okay. Oracle doesn't accept it. Yeah, A's in a to make a rename, but up and say my oracle does not accept it. Anyway, we will see it in in a practical session in to tell you good test it on a year. Does it really don't accept or what? Okay, okay, this is an example. And I say my select e dot id is employee id e dot name comma w dot department pengine you might ask yourself where is e from and where is d from oh what the hell is this i don't understand but don't worry i will explain to you hapa nasema from employee alafu hapa hapa akaweka e alafu hapa kuna takuwa kuwe na coma kusipalate kusababu ame mention two tables ame saa wapo coma works in w kumbuka this hapa ndi wamefanya ku rename guys kwa mba employee Bada kwa nika employee, iwe ni E. Alafu works in, iwe ni W. Doma na hapa kasema E.ID na E.name, alafu hapa W.debt. Uh, kumbuka, una, unafosema E.ID na E.name, it's not important to kufanya hivyo, but bana nyingi tunafanya hivyo, and hapo kama tuna select from two different tables, and katika hizo table mbili, tu, tuna columns ambazo zina same name. So, Lazima to specify kwamba this ID ambo ni may select is from employee table. Ambo ndo yapa ime kwa rename di yapa. And this uh, name ambo tunay select is from employee table and this department is from works in table. Lakini if uh, those tables have, have different names, yan different columns names, so there is no need ya kusifanya hivi. Una mention two column name na zako, safi na salama. Alafu hapa nivu sema as employee ID manake ndo hivyo tume rename sasa. Hapa manake ni tume rename column. Lakini hapa tume rename table. Kumbuka hapa there is a comma. I may forget. Yeah. Okay this is another example. Employee ID is in what what. Mona is like the same. It's like the same. I may read here. Au kuna nini keep ya hapo. What new? Nothing. I see nothing new, Apple. Let's continue. Alakalaka. Okay. 
self joins let's see what the data lines can be used the, to copy a table so that it can be combined with it itself hapa nasema select a name okay sawa sawa self join manake ni una join hiyo hiyo table moja lakini una una join yenyewe ndio self join self you join yourself hapa akasema select a name manake ah uh, table it's same table employee ameipa majina mawili tofauti kwamba unaona hapa amekumbuka mkato kule jua lisao ameipa majina mawili sawa ni employee lakini kuna employee A na B lakini ni same table ni table moja akasema uh, na select a dot name employee a dot name lakini remember is the same table is kuchanganya where a dot department is equal to b dot department and b dot name is equal to nd so this is the employee table what do you think will be returned here very easy i cannot pause it anyway let me continue okay okay what do you think will be returned kwanza hii hapa ni join condition tutaangalia join conditions zinakuwaje baadaye but this is the join condition kwa sababu ame join kwamba a dot department yani department ya kwenye employee a iwe sasa na department katika employee b so amefanya self join katika statement hii lakini hapa sasa ndio kama filter yake kwamba name nataka iwe ni andy kwa hapo kiangalia if there is andy so data ambayo itakuwa returned ni hii hapa ita return to andy kwa sababu anataka a select name so andy will be returned okay 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 for coke maana yake kwa kesi hapa ni sawa sana uwe na employee a uwe na employee b lakini zote zinakuwa na same data kwa sababu ni same table wewe ni mfano tu kwa ni kama ame join is two tables lakini ni same table kwa this is logical hii ni logical lakini physical kuna table moja tu kwa hivyo usifanye self join maana yake ni hii department ya huku iwe sawa sana department ya huku kwa maana yake hapa ni kuzi join alafu name sasa a dot name iwe ni andy so it will return andy lakini after joining these two tables first So that is self join. Let's see what it is alliance and self join again. We're not going to Okay, we're going to we're not going to waste our time there. Alliance and self join again. Okay, let's see these special operators. Is their name special? They are very special. They are very important. So pay attention. Um uh, often a subquery will return a set of values rather than a single value ndio ukiwa na sub query kwamba una main query alafu ndani yake ina query nyingine maana hiyo ndio itakuwa sub query ni query within a query kwa mara nyingi hii query ya ndani ambayo kweli mtoto ambayo ndio sub query mara nyingi ana return multiple values yani a set of values rather than a single value you can't directly compare a single value to a set kwamba let's say mimi nataka student name iwe sasa na set fulani no that is not possible but Uh, for that case you don't have to worry because there is a special operators that will help us compare or check to see if a value is in a set kwamba una check je kitu fulani kinafanania na set fulani naona au ku check exist maana yake pia una check kwamba kitu fulani je kina exist katika set fulani au all or any pia una check je kitu fulani kinafanania na all of these katika set au inafanania na any of these katika set Let's see moja baada ya nyingine. Tuanze na hii not in. Anasema using in we can see if a given value is in a set of values. Okay? Kwa mfano, akasema select columns fulani from this table where values zinapatikana in this set. And kuna namna mbili za kuweka uh, kuweka set. Ku set kwamba I mean ku specify sasa umdani set yako kuna namna mbili tutaona. Hapa not in anasema una check to see if a given value it is not in a set. Uh, the set can be given explicitly <laughs> explicitly <laughs> or in a form of subquery. So you could do 
either of these ways explicitly manake ni una mention hizo set yenyewe kwamba kwa mfano una select from uh, let's say student table uh, where name is uh, where name not in afu within brackets ndo una specify hiyo hayo majina yako sasa explicitly manake ni una mention hayo majina kwamba Juma Abdalla na nini kwa yenyewe the, uh, the system will check if uh, ilo jina mbao na reselect halipo it should not be in the set ya mbao specify that is explicitly lakini in a form of subquery manake kwenye set umu yani within mabano una specify sasa kwa mba unaeka subquery mlindani kwa mba select uh, name from same flani where evil that is it in manake ni same thing sema tu in ina check if uh, it is in the set what i've been mentioning is this one kwamba hapa ndio explicitly kwamba umdani una mention kabisa kwamba je hapa uh, uh, department ambayo inaitafuta is it in this list in this set if it is in manake ndio ita return kwa mfano for instance here we have employee table and the employee table has name department and manager uh, and we are going to select everything from employee table again where department in ko we expect department about to query san deal lazima zio either marketing or sales or both ndo maana hapa kwa department ikaritan tu hao wa marketing uh, pamoja na sales peke yake kwa sababu tume check if it is in this set kumbuka we could uh, we could specify the set in two ways either explicitly or in a form of subquery this is explicitly and this is a, a form of subquery kwamba we select everything from employee where name not in kwamba name ambayo haiko ndani katika hii set kumbuka hii subquery ni ina return tu hizo data zake ndio tuna deal nazo kwamba kumbuka pia unachoki select hapa ndio kiwe ambacho umekiweka kwenye where cloud sorry ndio kiwe sasa na ambacho umekiselect huku kwamba kile ambacho kinakuwa return kiwe so majina lazima so lazima safanane ila zile data types lazima zifanane for instance here we say uh, select everything from employee uh, where name not in then we are going to select manager kwa tunaenda kuselect employee wote ambao sio ma manager hiyo ndo maana yake employees wote ambao not in this set ya kumbuka hii set ina select ma manager kwa kama not in this set maana yake tunataka employees ambao sio ma manager au vipi yeah ko select um yeah select yeah yeah, yeah. not in hapa ita select manager from employee ko um ni tu adi na table hii au tu adi na hii okay kama tu adi na table hii maana yake tukija kwenye manager hapa manager kuna Chris na Jane si ndio alafu hapa tuna select everything from employee where to select for where name uh, aipo kwenye manager where name not in this set hii set is italitani au ma manager ko italitani Chris pamoja na Jane. Kwa amesema not in manake itaangalia sema ambayo iko empty ambayo not in ni atakuwa ni huyu Jane peke yake. Ambaye department yake ni management. Kwa italitani ro moja bila shaka. Yeah. Sasa huyu hajatuwekea jibu hapa lakini that's it. Ita ita ita, ita, ita wa discard hawa Jane na Chris kwa sababu wenyewe ndio wapo katika column ya manager lakini hii sema ambayo iko empty ambayo haina not in manake ni huyu Jen peke yake ndio ayupo kwenye hii column ya manager okay not in again not exist let's see exist not in show na using exist we see if there is at least one element in a set not exist manake ni kinyume chake kwamba if the set is empty manake yenyewe ndio itakopo iko true tuangalie tu mfano mfano hai wapa u anasema na select everything from employee e1 ame rename hapa jamani remember we have we have learnt about alliance ko select everything from employee e1 where where exists 
nadhani unaanza kuona tofauti huku tulikuwa tunasema where kitu fulani not in au in the set wakati huku you don't have to say something kwamba where unacheki katika set set ndio itari ndio kama ndio ina specify condition where exists in this set uh, hii set ina return nini iko ndo cha muhimu kujua kwamba hii set ina select everything from employee e2 amba where e dot name is equal to e dot manager kumbuka hii ni kama join condition si ndio ko uh, employee kumbuka amesema e dot name kwamba name za e2 ziwe sasa na e dot manager kwa ame, ni kama self join na join name pamoja na manager kwa inaangalia zile ambazo zime exist huku na huku kwa maana yake yenyewe ita return hii ina kweli ita return ile ambayo uh, according to this condition ita return ile ambayo haina yani ile ambayo haija exist both sides ya name uh, na manager kwa hapo mwisho siku ita return nani aha hapa amesema where e two dot name is equal to kwa wale ambao wametokea both sides kwamba name na e one dot manager um, zile ambazo zinafanania both sides kwa ukiangalia hapa john huku john hayupo kwa hapa tuwezi kaona john mary huku mary hayupo chris there is chris here so chris lazima tum display ndio maana hapa aka display chris marketing jen pira there is no pira in this side jen we have jen here ndio maana hapa aka display jen management and the hapa pako empty that why hapa ka return empty set Okay, let's see other uh, special operators which are all and any. All and any, okay? Yenyewe all and any na compare a single value to a set of values. All and any. Uko juu tuliona nini? In na not in, si ndio? Kumbuka yuko uh yuko ilikuwa ina check uh to see if a given value it is in a set lakini huku tunakuja ku compare kwenye all and any tuna compare ndio maana tunatumia hizi comparison operator hiyo ndio tofauti kubwa mhm mm let's see now hapa nasemaje tuna compare compare a single value to a set of values let's see tunazitumiaje sasa lakini na yenyewe pia ina compare a set to a set in a compare to a set of values okay okay let's see here panasemaje all any find the names of all employees who earn the highest salary for in this case unaweza kutumia all or any kwamba ili kusudi kumjua ne anayepata the highest salary and for this case ni Paul what do we do you select name sababu ndio inayohitajika select names so you select a name from employee table this is the employee table uh, where salary sababu ndo tutataka to compare ili tujue the uh, the greatest desire salary sorry where salary is greater or equal to all of this kwa tuna compare ku check je hii salary is it greater or equal to hivi vyote ndo maana hapa akasema salary is it greater or equal to all kwa huko ndani sasa ndo una una unaweka una sasa una specify your set. Kumbuka set inaweza kawa uh, ikawa provided explicitly or in a form of what? Subquery in this case we use subquery. So we select salary from employee. We just select salary from employee. So we compare salary with this salary. Ili kusudi ku get the highest salary sababu we want the greatest one. So this will return Paul because Paul ndio yeye mwenye salary ambao ni greatest or we go to all of this all of this salary ambazo tunazicheck kwenye table employee Apa we, we want to find the names of employees who earn more than someone else ko who ambaye na hapa tuangalie okay of course the, the question is like It's almost the same but hapa ameuliza kivingine kwamba tunataka tujue yule ambaye ana ana n uh, more than yoyote. Kwa hapa tumetumia n kwamba 
huku tumeangalia tu highest salary lakini hapa tunaangalia yule ambaye ana ana earn zaidi kuliko wote kwamba tuna select name from employee where salary is greater than any of this kwamba salary iende kani compare ikafanye comparison muangalie je yupi ambaye ana salary uh, kuliko yeyote katika hizi salary ambazo unaenda kuzicheki katika hii table so here we return what we return power again sababu yeye ndo ana an 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 any the greatest salary than all the any of them distinct to share yongelea distinct manake na ina eradicate au ina remove duplicates wakati all manake yenyewe ndio uh, in in i i was ku eradicate duplicates yenyewe na return data zote kama zilivyo na by default waga hapa ikogo all lakini waga tuiwekage tuwasemaga tu select you mention your columns from kitu fulani where you specify your condition uh, mm, group by having um, order by and stuff like those okay let's see the special operators now anasema special operators kuna between kuna is null kuna like like ni kama kukompea vile is this like this is it uh, select hii ambayo iko null hapa ni selectie uh, uh, wanafunzi ambao i mean wa, wafanya kazi ambao salary yao ina lend in a range between this and this so that is where we use between tutaiangalia in practical so don't worry Okay like Okay there are two wild cards anasema represent 0 1 or more characters kwamba ukisema percent uh, percent sign yeah percent sign ya represent 0 or uh, 0 1 or more characters wakati underscore ina represent exactly one character kwa hizi ni muhimu kuna percent na kuna underscore which cards are used with the like keyword go wherever you use, use like la i mean wherever you use percent or underscore lazima wewe umetumia like like ikumbuka ni kama ina compare lakini vile vile kumbuka eco sign pia ina compare but ukitumia percent and underscore lazima utumie like and not eco sign otherwise you get an error okay let's see zinatumikaje sasa for example, kasema A to Z, all strings start, start with A to Z, other characters, and then, um, for example, A, B, Z, etc. Kwa ukiweka hivi, manake tarita nini? Kwa mba ukiselect, uh, let's say, unaselect F name from student where uh, name, uh, where F name is equal, uh, where F name is equal to ikikitu, manake tenda kuangalia yule monafunzi ambaye, anajina ambalo linaanzia na Z lina linaanzia na A linaishia na Z na katikati kuna elufi yoyote tu labda ABZ au A to Z yani kuna elufi yoyote lakini haiwezi yani uki haiwezi karitani hii kwa sababu yenye hapa ndani ukiweka dash manake manake kuna naneli moja kama hapa ambavyo alisema represent exactly one character kuna character moja lakini hapa katikati hapa Ye yeah, America character mbili kwa hiyo haita haiwezi karitani kitu kama hiki. Eh uko mfano ukiweka hivi sasa kwamba a b c then percent. Kwa maana yake itaenda kuangalia zile zote majina yote ambayo yanaanzia a b c alafu huku yanaishia chochote kile. Chochote kile ijalishi imeishia je as long as imeanzia na a b c huku mwisho chochote kile inaleta. For example a b c d au a b c D, A, D, C, whatever Ni chochote ambacho kina indelea huku And it doesn't matter As long as ikimianza na A, B, C Kwa sababu hapo meka percent And you remember the meaning of percent Kwa mba ina represent 0, 1 or more characters Kwa wata ikiwa A, B, C Ivo hivo pia itakuwa returned Lakini hapo kisema percent X, Y, Z manake Aijalishu meanza na kitu gani huku mwanzoni As long as umemaliza na X, Y, Z It will be selected that is the meaning. Na hapa pia manake ni kwamba uanze na elufi yoyote vile, yoyote, lakini katikati lazima kuwe na AN. Yaani after elufi fulani moja yoyote lazima ifate AN. Lakini 
itaendelea na chochote huku mbele haijalishi ni kitu gani all string that contain a character then any forward by anything else for example san francisco wherever kwamba imeanza na elf s and we don't care imeanza na elf gani so this one is okay alafu imefuata an lakini huku mbele imefuata characters yoyote kwa sababu huko tumeka percent kumbuka hapa space even space is a character that's why it is okay concatenate manake ni kama kuunganisha either kuunganisha two strings au kuunganisha variable na variable au variable with the string whatever so how do we concatenate in sql let's see sometimes it is necessary to con uh, to combine together or concatenate the results from several different fields yeah uh, each database for raise a way to do so in the uh, in the sql this is how we do uh, in my SQL, they concat they concat in Oracle, we concat as well. In SQL Server, they use plus. In Oracle, you, you could use these lines as well. Naitwa just mini lines in again square lines out. I don't know. For instance, here we are uh, maraningi apa concatenation in concatenation in selection. Uh, we want to select data in a form of who. Uh, in a form of a string kwamba hatutaki uh, return data in a form of table kama hivi tuweza tukaritani in a form of string kwa concatenate hiyo string yenyewe for instance here we select uh, column name alafu hapa hii tuna concatenate column name hiyo with with the string si ndio alafu again we concatenate your string with another column column 2 hiyo then from table name where we specify condition kwa maana hapa tutakachukua return d ni value ya hii column alafu katikati kuna space then value ya column 2 so that's it for instance here tukisema select a region name alafu hapa tume concatenate space with the another uh, variable au column nyingine ambayo inaitwa store name from geography where store name is equal to mwz so will be what will be the term d uh, is the mwz alafu <coughs> region name sorry region name let's say ni mwanza alafu space mwz evo where clouds again what do we have to talk about it now tumeongelea sana where clouds is used to specify to specify the condition since you um, the word other uh, words that are returned okay takes the form of a condition when I specify condition on those rows that are ambassadors not satisfy condition uh, those that were returned the corner specify condition after zero two rows and those in a satisfy your condition but my specify pare those that were returned in those user teaser because if you are because you know after being queried by you a programmer yeah we are clouds again sorry i'm not gonna read that aggregate fields so this is the aggregate fields uh these are the what these are the these are the functions very very important functions not to make a sign of kuna county up and to make a cook count cook count um let's say cook count number of rows cook count whatever to tell now how it works some man i can add the function by an add Average in after average, maximum in after maximum, minimum in after minimum, katika, either katika column or katika the whole database. Okay, let's see what now. Let's see count, count and count star. Okay, ka count star, man, I can count everything. I need to count rows or the katika table. Count star. Count is used to count the number of values katika column. Count is time and I can count the number of rows of uh, of the query result. It counts the number of rows in the resulting table. Count count the number of rows katika table nzima. Count rows manake how many uh, book title rows do we have? Ndiyo domana tuatumia count uh, function kusudi ku count rows. Ili kusudi kujua how many rows do we get? How many book kit rows do we have that are in category 3, wherever? Okay, 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 okay. Let's see here. And some account function counts rows. The count function in account rows. For example, select count star from stock. Manake everything in table stock will be counted. It will return the number. Pale kumba kumbi table stock ina 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 rows miambiri. 
that is an example okay this count uh, counts the number of frozen stock okay it could also count the number of items of stocks that were supplied by a single supplier that's happened at the game to na condition born a week at a work clause it is to the he county he select the same music and by way one attack i select for instance here msm account everything from stock where supplier ni miatano na moja kota sa uta uta county vile vyota mbavo mis vi supply uyu supplier number miatano na moja so uh where clause matters a lot you have to know how to uh how to put your condition there yeah Mm-hmm. Upper aggregate. Let's see sum now. How do we use sum? You used to find the sum of values in a column again. It's the functions of the running is now work at a column. Ko kisema pa sum stock level one manake uh everything katika yo column is the ko is the vita jumlishwa. Grouping manake on a group by ku group by manake on a group by a certain column. Uh that I'm fanon do it a cavizuri. Up I must select supply ID county you up from stock group by supply ID. That is to say up supply ID is na kwa zime jirudia. Sindi yo? Ko enyewe ita kopo ina, 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 ina group by supply ID. Ko manake ita, ita sima kwa mba supply ID hii ina data hii supply ID hii without duplications. Ndoma na hapa imeritani hivo. Hivo. Sorry. Hizo data kwa mba supply ID. Kila supply ID na data zake. Mara nyingi kwenye county waga tuna group by having manake ni kama where clause katika uh, ni kama ambavo where clause tunaitumia ku specify condition katika row lakini having clause tunaitumia ku specify condition katika hiyo group by katika group by kwa mara nyingi kama hapa tume group by kitu fulani uh, by supply id manake tuki tukiweka having manake tuna specify kwamba hizo supply id tunatakiwa ziwe za aina gani ko having ni kama where clause katika group by so these are these are the functions maximum minimum average maximum it return the maximum value katika column and katika eh and minimum it will return the minimum value katika column average it will return the average in a column it calculates the average yani mean in the other way in the other name of all selected values of a given field the for weeks oh, oh what have i done so yes any copy yeah nico somewhere up and peter here to go to long easy functions grouping that is grouping we have seen it okay apple yeah let's see this summary Select the county star from grade refer grade table. Sindi yo. Select the max mark from grade. Manaki apa itenda kuangalia maximum mark katika i table. I ni column name. Select the mean mark itangalia minimum mark katika table grade. AVG manaki ita calculate average ya mark katika grade table. Count is everything. Uh, select count everything. Code from grade group by code. Manake ita return kodi flani uh, ina, 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 ina data kiasi flani. Kodi flani ina data kiasi flani. For more example, just go to www.schools.com ya slash SQL. Kule kuna mafundisho mengi ya ni mle utapata kila kitu that you wish to get. Okay, this is the summary queries. Summary queries involve multiple rows in a table. Okay, rows are group D using the group by clause okay a function minimax okay average sum count operator apa ni kama marudio yari amba utuko tunayafanya select it from multiple tables how do we select it from multiple tables okay uh, it's a kumi na nusu and i gotta go somewhere okay mm-hmm Okay, let me pause here. I think to go to India. Nikirudi ni slide ya msini. Alikia ni nyingi. I'll be back. Thank you for now, and see you on the next tutorial. Okay, what's going on, guys? Now to India, but I'm back to Tunisia last time.
okay selecting from multiple tables now we're going to select from multiple tables okay Call, uh, when we deal with or working with multiple tables manake joins in our Zika, we have to to join those tables and also to select it from select it from multiple tables again for instance here we have student table and we have grade table so if we, we have to select it from these two tables we have to join them here the join condition uh, student id uh, student dot id is equal to grade uh, dot id manake ameringanisha uh, idea hapa na idea huku manake hapa ndo kujoin kwamba kilichopo huku kifananie na kilichopo huku na mara nyingi tuna join kwa kutumia zile primary and foreign keys kwamba ya huku ifananie na ya huku alafu this is just a condition kwamba this is the join this is the join condition and this is the filter condition okay again selecting from multiple tables this is what i've been telling you kwamba we want this uh, id to be same as this one that is how we join so if we say select blah blah from student comma grade where student dot id is equal to grade dot id manake we have joined the, these two tables again selecting from multiple tables i guess this ni mfano mzuri anasema select first last mark from student so ana select these three columns from student comma grade from these two tables kwa ukiona tu from two tables manake you expect uh, katika where clause lazima kutokana na join condition and that is this one kwamba we want student dot id kuwa same as grade dot id so this is the joint condition and at the same time mark should be greater or equal to 40 so what's important here is this condition because it is the join condition because we selected from these two tables we have to join them using uh, a condition like that when selecting from multiple tables you almost uh, you almost always use a where clause to find entries with common values for instance here we have these IDs and this ID from these two tables. So in where clause you specify condition and going to link these columns with common values. Okay. Yeah, this is what I've been telling you. Okay. Okay, now let's see the joins. As we see here, Sawa, we joined the but uh, kuna some other ways that could join your tables so let's see one after another these are the joins uh, joins can be used to combine tables uh, these are may uh, there are many types of joins and which uh, uh, which are close jo join I mean inner join natural join and outer join one after another corner how and how they differ and how they relate the outer joins are linked with nars more later okay we'll see it cross join uh, returns all pairs of rows from a and b Ko a cross join b manake it return all pairs of rows from a and b manake e it akwana duplicates sabu it return pairs zote ni kama end i mean ni kama o ko manake uh, it return kila kitu Na yapa A natural join B manake yenye ndo ni kama kinyume cha cross join Yenyewe ita return pair of rows with common values Kwa ni zile tu ambazo zime match huku na huku Katika rejewa ni kama intersection Kwa ni zile tu ambazo zime intersect from A, A and B Kwa um, ita return pair of rows with common value for identical named columns And without duplicating So here on, on natural join there is no duplication but in close join duplication is there we got here in a join b in a join here and a sema a in a join b in a return pairs of rows satisfying a condition so katika in a join you have uh, to specify a condition Kumba you join those two tables under what condition 
so if the condition is met then those two tables are, are joined based on that condition cross join uh, uh, now as we have mentioned them here and the define them let's see how they operate cross join and so select everything from student cross join enrollment you see how we use uh, how we join is uh, on previous example here we joined in where clause we, uh, we place the join condition in where clause but as we have learned these other th these other types of joins uh, we see that uh, we use join condition before the where clause so we specify why we are mentioning them after from um, is here and I say must select everything from student cross join enrollment. So what we expect here to ta, uh, to touch all pairs of rows uh, from table student and enrollment. Is here we have table student here and enrollment here. So we expect to uh, to take all those rows. So we expect how many rows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we expect eight rows here and with the duplications but when we come to a natural join uh, and as I must select everything from student in natural join environment that is to say kwamba uh, we eradicate in uh, our duplications kwamba we are going to select a pair of rows uh, ambazo uh, zina ambazo ni common katika both table ni kama intersection as I said before so here we have idea of miesh natato and here we have miesh natato that's why uh, 1, 2, 3 is here. We have 124, 124, 124 is here. We want, I mean, we have 125, uh, no 125 here, so that's why it's not here. And we have 126, there is 126 here, and it is here. Upper 124, upper we have 124, and here there is 124. But again, there is 124, again it a match na he. So we have two 124s, that's why they are both the peers here. There is no duplications in, in natural join. Okay, let's see uh, cross join now. Anasema, select everything from A, cross join B. So this is just a format. Kwamba, uh, easy easy types of zotes are joined some as we mentioned above. Uh, we, uh, we join tables before the way are clouds. Upper Kasema select everything from A, comma B. Uh, ah, yeah, comma. This thing is the same as select everything from A, comma B, but here to me join Kabisa these two tables. So that's the difference. Select A, I mean, select everything from A, natural join B, is the same as select A dot call a one up to A dot call any and all other columns. A party from B dot call la 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 haya maelezo mengi lakini kila kitu ni kama nilivyoelezea hapa Let's see the inner join now cross join jamani uh, una join tables uh, kutokana na uh, let me see here natural a uh, half cross join kumbe nilishaelezea kwamba yenyewe inakuwa na duplications Okay let's see inner join Anasema, in a joins specify condition with the pairs of rows. Okay, sorry. Okay, Anasema, in a join in a specify condition which, uh, in which the pairs of rows is satisfy. So in inner join and outer join, you have to specify condition. It could you could join those two tables, for instance here A and B, based on a condition that you mentioned here okay i mean that you mean you mentioned here so in inner join unaweza ukatumia on manake what follow this condition au ukatumia using ambapo kinachofuata ni column ambayo ambazo unataka ku join you uh, based on them choosing rows where the given columns are equal okay let's see this format now and I say must select everything from A in a join B. I'll have to using so in the brasses here. You mentioned columns, for instance, you might uh, use columns, uh, let's say, uh, primary key of A uh, with the foreign key 
of A ambayo ipo katika table B. And here select everything from A in a join B on here you specify condition labda. We'll see some examples. Okay, let's see in a join again and asemaje now and asema select everything from student in a join enrollment using ID. Kwamba I want to join these tables kwamba student pamoja na enrollment using ID. Kwa hiyo manake this thing ambacho tumekifanya hapa it is the same as the previous example that we saw here. Kwamba student ID is equal to grade.id kwa manake here we joined these two tables based on ID no ne ni same as what we did here and kama ukiangalia vizuri that one is ni mfano ni, ni, ni njia nzuri zaidi na raisi kuliko hii hapa ya kuspecify condition ndefu but here you just say kwamba i want to join student uh, and enrollment using ID Remember here we have the common uh, the common keys. Okay? In a join again and I select everything from buyer in a join property on price ikiwa greater I mean less or equal to budget. Manaki apa I and I join these two tables based on this condition. Komanaki apa nangalia what is price? We have this buyer, we have property and the buyer has name and budget and property as address and price and i want to join based on price if you are less than what budget so up it a check uh price here about less than budget and your row about a quad printed co we expect uh to take the manatano it is less than no 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 the manatano is not is it is it less or equal to budget the manatano Okay, okay, okay. Kota chukwa zile rows ambazo ni less or equal to budget. Ukiangalia hapa row ya kwanza, 85 it is less or equal to 100. Uh, yeah. Lakini 125 it is not less. It is less or equal to 150. Lakini vile vile it is less or equal to 100. No. 175 Iwezi kuwepo kabisa kusabu yenyewe Sio less or equal to any of these Lakini 85 It is less or equal to 100 At the same time it is less or equal to uh, Mia msini That's why it's appeared uh, Twice over there It is not less or equal to 80 Ndo mana tumeiweka malambiri pale Tukija kwenye mia shinatano It is not less or equal to 100 At the same time it is not less or equal to uh, yeah, it is less or equal to miesh natano, but it is not less or equal to the manini. That's what we that's why we mentioned it only once. When it comes to uh, mia sabinatano, it is not less or equal to all of this. That's why we didn't mention it at all. Yeah, that's it. I hope to make a one upon in a join. Okay, and a Okay, what was this? Yeah, this was in a join, so we continue. In a join, uh, another example, as we select everything from A in a join B on condition. Remember, on brasses, you specify your condition uh, that you want to join based on it. For instance, here, ah, kama Marudio. Marudio, iki kitu shaki soma. Joins versus wear clouds. Okay. Hizi ni kama zikupangwa vizuri Okay, tutaisoma hii then tutakuja kumaliza na hizi outer joins And their syntax and so forth Okay, hapa nasema Joins so far are not needed Okay Joins so far are not needed Why? You can have the same effect by selecting from multiple tables with an appropriate wear clouds Yeah, this is possible As we saw before, kwamba uh, we were able to join those uh, two tables uh, in a where clause. Yeah, upon a same so should you use join or not? Um, for me, I think 
we should use join kwa sababu ina simplify maisha as we saw above kwamba um, we joined the two tables uh, using a single statement lakini remember uh, statement ilikuwa kubwa ukilinganisha na kutumia uh, join kwamba kwa kutumia join tulitumia statement ndogo sana ku do the same join ambayo tuliifanya kule kwa statement ndefu so for me i think join uh, should be there kurahisisha maisha sorry maisha <laughs> yeah okay hapa nasema yes because uh, they often lead to concise queries natural joins are very common okay huku ni kama anatetea upande wa uh, wa joins kwamba joins lazima ziwepo na hapa anasema no because uh, so no because um uh, support for joins varies a fair bit among SQL dialects okay yeye yeah, anasema hivi but mimi nilisema yes for me ili kusudi tu kurahisisha maisha okay let's see how to join now anasema how to joins when we take the join of two relations we match up two poles which share values okay in how to join uh, some tuples have no match and are lost. Okay, sawa kabisa kwamba in outer joins tunaangalia zile tu uh, rows ambazo zinafanania huku na huku. Ndio maana hapa akasema uh, some tuples ambazo hazijafanania huku na huku they are lost. Tutaona how uh, these are called the uh, dangles okay outer joins include dangles in uh, in the result and use narrows to fill in the blanks so these are types of outer joins uh, we have left right and full outer join taona one after another kuona how they works okay here outer join syntax in oracle how do we use outer join apana sema select here you specify the columns you want to select from here you specify your tables uh, where you from i mean where you selected from here type i wonder what it is okay here is outer join then here is table two that you join with table one then on based on condition remember it, i said that uh in in outer i mean uh, in what inner and outer joins you use condition to speci uh, to uh, to to join uh, tables with you uh, you use condition whether you might use condition au uh, unaweza kusema uh, using which columns that you want to uh, to join with okay uh, where type is one of the left right or full okay for example let's see this an example maybe today obviously we select everything from student full auto join this is full of join remember we have left right and full full auto join enrollment on student dot id is equal to so this is the condition and we join the student and the enrollment table using full outer join to town na full outer join in auto 40 and a vp na left and right outer joins and here to turn out of out let's begin with this is inner inner join okay tuanzi hapa kwenye inner join japo tunarudia uh we have student table here and we have enrollment here tukisema we join student inner join enrollment maana yake ni kwamba um what does it mean what does it mean yeah tunaangalia zile ambazo zime match pande zote mbili what we said on um in a join 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 okay here in in a join to sema kwamba we joins uh in a join in a specify condition which the pairs of rows satisfy uh okay 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 yeah that's all i guess yeah that's all we said about in a join kwamba you specify condition or unaweza kusema una join using a what columns yeah okay let's get back where we were here 
Okay, so if we say student in a joint enrollment to Langalia Zile common roles, yeah, Papa just specify Kwamba I may join this uh, two table based on what Kwamba is a using ID out on a certain condition. I just specify Lakini uh, in default to Nikwamba to Langalia Zile color ambazo uh, Ziko common. For instance, here we have IDs ambazo. Upper we have me is not to me is not to that's why it's here and we have 124 and 125 which are common in both tables but 126 has no common row in your environment table that why it's not there and 128 has no common uh, row in student table that's why we didn't mention it here as well okay so that's what's in a joint let's see how in a joint differ from full uh, outer join out from outer join okay we have student again and we have enrollment table uh, if we say student full outer join enrollment manake sasa hapo itategemea if it is full outer join manake uh, tuna join uh, based on common rows um, common uh, columns lakini tunaangalia zile rows ambazo uh, ni common on both on both tables lakini hata zile ambazo waziko common kusabu this is full auto join manake tuta set to null for instance here mi ishna tatu mi ishna nene mi ishna tano it is common to here in enrollment that's why it's uh, sorry yeah that's why uh, they are here kwamba we have mi ishna tatu mpaka mi ishna tano hapa easy hapa but mi ishna sita Haina common row kupandwa pili. That's why imekuwa set to null. And uh, uh, alkadari kamish na nane haina common row huku. That's why imekuwa set to null. That is full outer join. And how that is how it differ from inner join. Inner join if you if hauna common row katika upandwa pili manake hauta unyeshwa kabisa huku katika results. Hata huyu pia hana common row huku atotokea but here uh, kama hauna common row tuna kuset to null okay let's see left out outer join here and as we have student we have enrollment then if we say left outer join manake ni kwamba uh, tuna deal na left only kwamba for this case manake tuta na student kwa sababu yendo yuko left ndo maana uh, miesh na sita hana common uh, row katika upande wa pili na yeye yuko left ndo maana upande wake wa pili ukawa set to null lakini mie na nane yeye yuko right that's why we ignore it kwa sababu this is left outer join alkadharika in right outer join manake we deal with the right table ndo maana hapa mie na nane hana uh, hana common row katika uh, right table i mean left table about the student ndo maana tukam set to null lakini mie na sita kwa sababu yeye yuko left and this is right outer join that's why we ignore it okay sql okay 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 this is union now kwamba in union anasema list all stuff that's working in either of two departments either of two departments each department has a separate database showing their staff number and date of birth kwa hapa ni kama ametengeneza two queries alafu akazi join using union kwamba these are the two different queries amezi union kwamba we have the first query and we have another query we select it from two different tables uh, yeah and we join them using union keyword here so that's how we do we select staff number comma dob from dpa then union select staff number comma dbo i mean dob date of birth from d the b that's why we get these results we join these two uh queries using union yeah in here intersection ni is ni kusema kwamba uh, tunachukua rows ambazo zime happen both sides for this case we have SA51 which appears here but CC115 it is not here that's why 
haijatokea kwenye result kwa sababu we using intersection ambayo inaangalia kile ambacho kime happen katika both tables unlike union ambayo inachukua results zote yani kama inaunganisha uh, all rows from these two uh, queries uh, results from those two queries ambazo uh, tume naniri hapo okay okay advance the data definition commands okay all changes in the data mesh structure are made by using the alter command we remember we mentioned the in the last lecture kwamba um uh, in sql there are two types of of commands we have ddl and dml data manipulation language data definition uh, and we mentioned that alter command it is the sql command uh, uh, and it is what is it DDL or DML? It is DDL. It it defines the database. Okay, three options available. We have add, we have modify, we have drop. Okay, these are more options. Are uh, more yeah more options and so we are added. So we can use add. We can modify. We can drop. Okay, changing a columns data type manaki unaenda ku alter table, si ndio? Una alter table flani, yani hapa jina la table, alafu una modify uh, let's say we modify V code kwamba iwe character 5 now. Kwa let's say ilikopo ni data type nyingine for instance maybe ilikopo ni varchar, but now we updated it, uh, we alter it to be character of length 5. So that is how we do. That is how we alter. Some DV, DBMSs such as Oracle and Bundle Tunatumia do not permit change to data types unless uh, the columns to be changed is empty. Komanake in Oracle, how we can change data type ya, ya, ya column flan mpaka your column you empty. Yani you empty the table. You know how to empty the table, right? You use what? Which command? Uh, you use what? 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 I guess you use uh, um, uh, delete. Is it delete? Yeah, delete uh, from code. For instance, you want to delete uh, from table student. Manaki utasema delete uh, from student. Delete from student. Yeah. Ukiandika kwa mandi kama yu manake taenda ku empty the whole table student. But if ukitaka ku delete from student lakini a certain row. Yani kwa mba let's say unataka ku delete manafunzi moja tu. Kwa lazima u specify pali kwa kuweka where clause. Where clause you specify condition amba ita filter. For instance unezo kasema select from, uh, I mean delete from student. Uh, where uh, s.id. S uh, is equal to 20 kwa manaki hapo tenda kum, kum delete mwanafunzi mwenye idea ishirini ok changing a columns data characteristics remember here still tuna, tukona ddl kusabu kuchange characteristics is a table au column manake uh, iyo ni ddl manake una, uh, unaenda kuchange um, maybe constraints au nini Evo. So that is DDL. You define, uh, you unenda ku, ku, ku change zile data ambazo li define mwanzo. Ko here, this time mamefanya nini? Akasema use alter to change data types, that, uh, to change data characteristics, increase the width of P price. Anasema alter table product, modify P price, uh, what? Re modify p price iwe decimal of 9,2 call let's say ilikopo 9 let's say comma 0 but now nataka iwe na 2 decimal places so you you set it as 9,2 if the column to be changed already contains data change it in the columns characteristics are permitted if those changes do not alter the data type what is it? I didn't get it. again. If the column to be changed already contains data, kama unaenda kumodify 
column ambayo ndani yake ina data tayari uh, change in the columns characteristics hazitaruhusiwa ya yeah, uh, permitted manake inaruhusiwa uh, if those changes do not alter the data type remember in uh, in oracle you are not allowed to change data type if the column contains data so you have to empty the table in order to change the data type the data type but if you want to change just the um, kubadilisha tu uh, length maybe ya hiyo data type au kubadilisha what uh, yeah just that kubadilisha um, change uh, characteristics ya column ya uh, let's say uh, uh, data type uh, length that is allowed hata kama hiyo column ime contain data some database will allow you to increase but not decrease the width of the column no ne? i don't know about oracle but kwa statement hii ana, anasema kwamba database nyingine zina kuruhusu uongeze uongeze uh, data type lakini usio upunguze kwa sababu hawezo uh, kukuruhusu kupunguza pengine kuna data ambazo umesha zistore ambazo uh, ukipunguza zitakuwa affected that's why okay anasema common sql data manipulation commands so data manipulation so d d i mean d m m d m c d what <laughs> d data manipulation commands dmc is it ddl dml data manipulation language data manipulation commands so these are the commands of ddm did what ddl whatever um the commands are insert select commit update rollback delete so in uh, dml dmc in dml these are the commands you can insert ku insert manake uh una insert row katika table you can insert one row at a time or multiple rows as well select manake you are going to select the data from the table una select the content from the table commit manake unaenda ku commit manake ni ku save or permanently save your data into disk we have talked about it update manake unaenda ku change the uh, the data ambazo zipo tayari um let's say ume store student name is juma lakini unataka kubadilisha isiwe juma tena iwe ni abdul rahman so you use update command to update the data rollback manake una restore una rudi to the uh, last state uh, since the last commit delete manake una delete data from your uh, from your database from your table enable uh, you to delete one or more data rows okay some basic sql aggregate function okay these are the functions very important function okay we have count we have mean max sum avg we have talked about it them tutazifanya zaidi katika practical session okay sql data definition commands these are the data definition commands okay ah, they are too small let me try to magnify yeah at least we could see now okay let's see what are they sql data definition commands okay command or option description so these are the commands and their descriptions create a scheme authorization okay it's used to create a database schema create a table we know it to say to me more often not null manaki this is the what this is the constraint yeah unique it is also a constraint that ensure that a column will not have a duplicate value manaki tegemei value zifanane katika same row katika same column i mean not null ni li skip eh? contain uh, co ni constraint pia ambayo ina ensure kwamba hiyo uh, hiyo column haiwezi kawa haina data it should have some data that's why they said it, it should not be now okay primary key in a defined primary key for a table foreign key pin a defined foreign key for a table default manaki on a defined default value for a column where no value is given manaki kama user they provide value yoyote you use default uh default what default command it specify 
eh? ili kusudi kutifetify default values check manake ni constraint that you to validate data in a column manake we una check value zako kwamba user hawezi kuingiza value tofauti na hizo ambazo ume check create index manake hii inatumika ku create index for a table create view manake hii pia ina create a dynamic subset of rows or columns yeah create view we will see it in an explanation to reserve vizuri create view is very easy una create view of uh, rows or columns from one or more tables manake ni kwamba ki create view una select from multiple tables una collect hizo data zina kaa same moja um uh, yeah that's it tutaiongelea zaidi on the coming lectures alter table manake unaenda ku change uh, characteristics is a table una modify tables definition what you have defined you modify it that's why we say the alter is the ddl command is the data definition command kwa sababu unaenda ku alter au ku modify uh, the tables definitions the the what the characteristics that you have defined previously while you are creating your table so you can add you can modify you can delete attributes or constraints za your table ku create table is create table is manake una, unafanya nini what do you do here anasema create a new table based on a query in the user's database schema i wonder what is it oh you get back to it drop table manake permanently delete a table that is drop table drop index this is these are all ddl commands drop index manake una delete permanent you know, delete an index drop view yeah you permanently delete a view that you have created here here in create view yeah okay now what how many slides do we got just one let's see what is this mm, yeah anasema ke anasema uh, data manipulation commands so these are dml commands i may summarize again we have mentioned them before you can insert you can select you can yeah ku insert manake una insert rows in a table ku select manake una select attributes from rows in one or more tables or views ku select manake una select data from the table where clause manake una specify condition on which you want to select the data from ni kama filter you filter group by you sel uh, you select the data based on a certain group having manake ni kama condition ni kama where clause ya group by ni condition ambayo una, una select kwamba una group based on what condition order by manake una order your data kwamba maybe let's say you have selected the data from a certain table you have specified condition but you want to order those data based on a certain uh, column uh, maybe you want them to be ascending or descending well guys that's all for today thank you very much for your time and see you on uh, my next tutorial have a nice day